Can-Am for a week now, four days in a row. And then I'm like, yeah, I gotta get on this. Throttle response, not pep beer. Uh, what are they doing? Go ahead. God am. Throttle response a lot peppier. I don't need as much throttle to go as fast. <laughs> Big difference. I mean, literally, I just came home from work uh, 15 minutes ago and jumped off the Can-Am. Took the helmet off, put it back on, and said, you know what, I'm going to go ride a bike. Need to uh, stop being so uh, afraid, as it were, of uh, the bike. And or I should get used to get acclimated to the bike and afraid of people. That's what it is. So I'm still a little afraid of people because they're, you know, jackasses. Planned on taking this to work tomorrow. I'll probably take the side streets and not the freeway. Even though the freeway shouldn't be so busy tomorrow, it's Friday. And a lot of people are off on Friday. And there's no school. So, yeah, we'll see. Oh, no, I can't. I gotta go pick up some crap after work. And the place is down by work, so. something a little hungry but I knew if I sat down and ate I wouldn't be coming back out of the house tonight that's just how I roll long day today and coming out the house wasn't one of the plans Still can't get over how much quieter the helmet is on the bike than it is on the Can-Am. And Can-Am with all that uh, plastic on it and fairings and pieces and bits, it just kind of channels the air right into my helmet <coughs> or something or around it and that. But the helmet itself is fairly quiet. Typical wind noise, but you know. A lot worse on the can am. Oh, look at that. A new 76 station opened up. I like me some 76. Always have, always will.
it just it just the idol came down and I gave it some throttle but I just give it didn't give it enough and she said put her what happens when you're not on it for a week.